North Central College ranked number 13 in the country by D3Football.com. Wheaton College, they're the number three ranked team. We're in the first quarter, and this is Wheaton College's third possession of the game. Sean Norris, he's looking for Justin Zeller. They're going to call a pass interference penalty on Patrick New. Three plays later, Norris finds Charlie Belling in the flats. Belling runs from 15 yards all the way to the North Central College 24-yard line. Three more plays later, Norris going back to the air and finding Seth Skogan for an 11-yard touchdown. With 11 seconds left to play in the first quarter, 7-0, Thunder. The Cardinals get the ball back and from their own 47-yard line, it's first down and 10. Fanthorpe going to the air and looking for his big tight end, Kyle Fedorowicz. That's a gain of 17 yards. Very next play, we got the Wildcat formation. That's Nick Hicks back there to take it. He runs up the gut for 14 yards. Now three plays later, Fanthorpe going back to his big tight end, Fedorowicz. 14 yards and a touchdown. We're tied up after the eight-play, 78-yard drive that took two minutes and 57 seconds. Five minutes left to go in the second quarter, and Sean Norris is looking deep downfield. Kyle Hayes keeping stride with the wide receiver, and that's an interception. Cardinals, they take over at their own four-yard line. Two plays into the drive, Fanthorpe with the pump fake, and he's going deep for Hank Johnson, and oh, just off his fingertips. Cards are going to halftime with the score tied up, seven apiece. Defensive coordinator Bill Winky keeping his defense on point, and right away, Sean Norris, he's getting pressured. Joe Schneiderbauer comes in with a big sack. That's a loss of 13 yards. Next Thunder possession, Schneiderbauer again is in there. Peter Bulander finishes Norris off. Cardinals, they would take over, and Aaron Fanthorpe looking to get back to business. And he's going to do it in a big way, finding Nick Hicks streaking down the middle, and he just gets shoestring, gain of 44 on the play. Very next play, Fanthorpe finding Steve Lavin. Makes the guy miss and marches into the end zone. North Central goes up 14 to seven. Wheaton, they were doing fine in the first half. They had 150 total yards. Those yards were hard to come by in the second half. Norris with the punt and check out jumping Joe Antonacci. That's a return of 28 yards, setting up North Central with good field position. Two plays later, Fanthorpe back to Hicks. Hicks makes a guy miss. He gets his first touchdown on the season. The junior finishes the day with 20 yards passing, 69 yards rushing, and 58 receiving. His most significant playing time on the year, thanks to the new look Wildcat formation. North Central gets the ball back in the fourth quarter, and Fanthorpe's off and running for 34 yards. He led the team with 88 yards rushing. That's a first down. Next play, Fanthorpe back to Fedorowicz. Aaron had 248 yards passing and four touchdowns on the day. That's Fedorowicz's second touchdown, his third on the year. North Central's up 27-7 after the missed PAT. Wheaton trying to get something going with 13 minutes left to play in the game, but that pass gets broken up by Josh McLeod. Next, Wheaton possession. Norris gets sacked, this time by Bulander and Robinson. Later in the drive, Rocky Ging gets stuffed by Scott Skateris and Willie Hayes on the very next play. Willie Hayes back again to stop Justin Zeller for a gain of just three yards. Cardinals take over after the turnover on downs. Last chance for the Thunder with three minutes left to play, but Pat News there to pick that ball off. North Central, they hold on to win it, 27-7. They take over first place in the CCIW. And for the second straight year, the Cardinals hold on to the Little Brass Bell. Well, uh, actually, I didn't know I was going to play that much. Um, we only had the Wildcat formation twice in our 20-play script, so, I mean, I don't know how many plays we had throughout the game, but, I mean, two every 20 plays isn't isn't that many. But uh, And I'm glad I got the chance to do that and, and show what I can do. Yeah, I mean, we had Nick come over to offense this past year, and, uh, we've been trying to plug him in, trying to find what he can do for us, and we know he's an explosive athlete. And uh, you know, we threw Wildcat in this week, and you know, unfortunately, it worked out. Well, it definitely took our defense for surprise, um, and it was very effective against us. Uh, obviously, uh, just another weapon that they have. There's no question. They brought the two tight ends in the game, and those are great players. You know, and they put the two tight ends in the game with their running back. You know, they're going to run the football. You know what I mean? And once they figure that out. You know, then the, you know one of the only ways you stop that thing, you bring so many guys in to stop the run, and you get you get hung up in man to man, and they knew it. I mean, you either die quickly or you die slowly. <laughs> we did circle this game on our schedule, and we thought it was it was going to be a big game, and it was. We knew we could we could go right at them. Our run game was doing pretty well in the first half there, and we wanted to go straight at them. And the second half, they started bringing a little more pressure, um, started blitzing a little more, um, and that kind of 
and they got into us and the, the story goes from there. Um, well, we wanted to bring some pressure and there was a lot of stress on those guys. They had to man up all game long uh, when we wanted to bring it and they did a great job and let us hit home on the quarterback. This is a tough loss. Uh, it was our goal to reclaim the CCIW championship. Um, you know, we've been harping on that all year long, all off season. This, we played this game for a lot of people. It wasn't just us. Um, I mean, I, there's not a lot of words to say. Everybody came together and we, we won it as a team.